Today, we're making something magical. A kaleidoscope. It's part art project, part science experiment, and 100% fun. And I'll show you five different reflective surface options from worst to best. You can use any type of cylinder for this, but I figured a paper towel roll would be the one easiest and most accessible. All the videos I've watched on how to make a kaleidoscope, they never really explain how to get the right size mirrors to fit in the cylinder of your choice. Regardless of the size circle, this is how to be spot on. And if getting these measurements is still too difficult, in the description I've included three PDF files. One is a diagram for finding the exact size triangle for your cylinder of choice. Two is a list of all materials needed for this project and three are step-by-step -step instructions for your kaleidoscope build. So we've established the width for each side of the triangle. Why this length? Since I need to get three of these rectangles out of one CD, I had to make it this size. The reflective surface used for the engine or brain of your kaleidoscope is most important. So I took the liberty to make five different options from worst to best. Number five is packing tape on top of cardboard. This works and is the easiest to produce because you're just putting tape over cardboard. Here I spray painted the cardboard black and then put the packing tape over that. Seems a little better. What do you think? I got this aluminum roofing tape from Home Depot for about $5. It has an adhesive backing and any arts and crafts person should have a roll. Obviously CD is what I chose to showcase this kaleidoscope build because it's still pretty easy to cut and has good reflective properties. And chances are you have a CD. Mirror is by far your best choice, but cutting it for most can be a little difficult without the proper tools. You can purchase 12 4 by 6 inch acrylic mirror sheets for under $10. They have an adhesive back and a reflective side that's very mirror-like. And the best thing, you can cut it with a razor blade. Let's get back to this build. When taping your mirrors together, you want to make sure there's a small gap on each side so it will be able to fold into a triangle. Make sure the inside of this mirror is clean before closing the triangle off. Your engine's made. Now let's cut the body. This will be our peephole. I'm capping off the end that faces the colored pieces. This blocks any particles from falling into your mirrored triangle. The toilet paper roll has a little bit larger diameter and it acts as the spindle and will house the chamber for your sparkly bits. I'm massaging this cardboard just to make it more pliable. We cut it to fit inside the toilet paper roll. All we need is to cut a strip to adhere an inch down, acting as a shelf. I cut two pieces of clear plastic. The smaller circle will be glued to the inside shelf, and the larger circle will be for the outside to cap off the color chamber. Don't be afraid to experiment with different trinkets and try to find several different colors. I used packing tape to secure this outside lens. Now we're just doing a fit test. Looks good. Now we just need to secure the engine in the vehicle. If you've made it this far, congratulations. You're in the home stretch. Now you don't have to do this, but it definitely adds a finishing touch to what you've created. Make sure your eye hole just sees inside of the triangle. Now I'm just gluing down the eye hole. 
to finish this piece off. We did it, great job. Here's our kaleidoscope. Now I'd like to share my special version and one other type of kaleidoscope I made during this journey. This kaleidoscope has a bamboo shell. The engine is mirror recycled from an old TV. The color reservoir was a creme brulee bowl from Costco. I riveted four copper strips to the bamboo and bent the ends to grasp the lip of the bowl, allowing it to spin in place. If this video is helpful, please hit that like button. It can really help the channel, as well as any comments you may have. And let me know if you'd like to see more instructional videos on maybe a topic of your choice. This is another version of a kaleidoscope that's pretty cool. You don't use beads, just colored markers. If you'd like to see how to make this version, just leave a comment.